My name is Duncan Saunders. I'm a music minister with the spiritual care department. The entire idea of being able to use harp music especially as therapy was the dearest to my heart more than anything else. Not entertainment, not uh, performance, but to be able to do some healing. I was asked in March of 1998 here at St. Joe's by a friend of a friend if I'd play for her father who'd had a triple bypass operation. I had not touched the harp for quite some time due to other you know, situations in my life. I dithered, I dithered, I said, I don't know if I can do it. Something called to me and said, please do this. So I went in, very rusty, very scared, and I played a couple of sessions for him. He very much liked it, the family did, but what really changed my life at that point, I walked out on the second floor and the nurses looked at me from the nurse's station and said, you have no idea what you just gave us in terms of music. You have to become a volunteer. You have to come back and play the harp for us. My name is Natasha Rogal. I'm a physician assistant here in Bellingham, Washington at Peace Health St. Joseph Medical Center. The thing about musical therapy is that it really provides kind of a non-pharmacological source of pain and grief relief for patients. Uh, it really benefits patients, especially in our service, the trauma service, where people undergo tragedies, uh, serious accidents that can be quite debilitating. Um, so we're very grateful for all the work he does. Um, and then as a caregiver here in the hospital, um, it's always very relaxing and just nice to walk into a unit where you have that kind of music playing and it helps reground and um, relax and it also supports the staff here. Here we take what's our intention in our heart and our soul and we find that music um, through the grace of God and whatever spirit we have that allows us to say this is the music for this person, hopefully under this time, will do the healing that we want it to. This for me though, this I would rather do than anything else in the world when all is said and done. To come out to the hospital here and know that I might be able to do some healing, this is, this is a joy for me that I can't otherwise describe.